So today we're going to be changing the cord on this weed whacker, the Husqvarna. And this is the model. So what we did is took off the spool and this is what it looks like. So if you look at it, it's got arrows on it pointing counterclockwise there and here. So what you're going to do is you're going to wind the cord so it comes out feeder loop there and the feeder there. You roughly have about this much cord because it's late fall and I need to get some more cord. But this will be a good example of how it's supposed to work. So the first thing you want to do is to pull out your cord and to find the center. So what you do is you just basically split it down the middle and then you loop it around your finger so that way you have your center point. Then what you do is you loop the blue end around the notch right there so then you can wind the top and the bottom and remember you're going the same direction you're both going counterclockwise. So when you wind it you'll see that the top there's this notch so you can notch the top one to hold it and then that'll allow you to tie the second one to wrap it around and then once you're done hold it with your thumb and then put the cover on. So as you put the sleeve back into the cover you'll trace the blue string through the uh, holes there in the left and the right. I'm holding it with my, my hand just to show you. And then following that what you'll do is you'll put it on the actual cover and being careful to let the clips on the left and the right go into the holes that are here and here while not letting the slip loose because it will spring out. So what you do is you'll put the clips on and you'll see that right there's the first clip. Remember to get the clip inside the housing and you just push it in and it clips. And then you make sure the other side is clipped, which it is. Pull on the strings, they're good. And pull on the string here. Sounds good. So then when you go to start it up, what will happen is your weed whacker will have a little bit extra of a string. Just make sure to protect your legs because it will whip off and cause you quite a bruise. Alright, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the video. Do it yourself, homeownerhero.com. Have a good day.